Alright, welcome everybody, New Joker 6 here, and I, I got up this morning, I made something to eat, I checked who was live on Twitch, listened to a bit of music, and now, I'm like, you know what, alright, let's 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 go hop on Warframe, let's see if we can, uh, let's see what we can do with Overrun, see if we can get some kind of video out there, uh, you know, with some higher level content, just to show people he really doesn't look like he can handle enemies that are at sortie level, no problem. If he, of course, is played correctly. And you don't like just completely harp derp and not pay attention to anything. But, to my surprise, before I even get in the game, there's an update. And I really, I, I was thinking about doing this. I was like, oh, no, no, maybe I should make a video about this, put it up. Uh, but then again, it's just a little update. Let's see what's on it. So we're taking a look. Bum, bum, Ambulance Reborn. I'm sure everybody saw that coming, though. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, some information you're gonna get a message when you get in game pretty much explaining all this kind of thing and then what do I see here Oberon changes and fixes Oberon got another update so of course I had to do this and get it ready to get up to you guys today right off the bat increased Oberon's base energy from 100 to 150 that is fantastic he gets even more energy so those of y'all who are out there and saying that he 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 needs too much energy, he's not efficient enough, just shut up. <laughs> you just got even more energy. So all, all your little bitching and complaining. Um, oh, and apparently there's a hot fix deploying right now too. But <laughs> let's just go take a look. So if we come over here and we just swap on over to config B. He now is, th wait, not 300, uh, 225 power at base with no mods on it. And then my prime flow is at uh, 8 out of 10, and I'm almost at 600 energy, 563 power. That's insane. <laughs> I, I basically just gained 200 power, okay? That is fantastic. Improve the visibility of Oberon's hollowed ground effects. Now, I don't have anything... I haven't seen that. So I don't know how improved they are. Um, if I remember, I'll throw a quick clip right here in the corner somewhere showing you this. What the hollow ground effects look like right now. Fix Oberon's renewal energy per target arsenal stat not being affected by efficiency mon. Oh, it wasn't being affected. So now that means... Ooh, that means he's going to be draining energy even slower. Which means my build just got even better. Fix smart projectiles not targeting red dot enemies. Fix renewal effects not lasting as long as the ability is active. Oh. Well, that can be a problem for people that have really high duration. Fixed health regeneration not working after triggering Phoenix Renewal Augment. Yes! Because <laughs> there's been times where I'd be playing with people and they'll trigger Phoenix Renewal or I'll end up triggering Phoenix Renewal. And then you're not being healed anymore. So from the sounds of this, it sounds like Phoenix Renewal is going to trigger, but you're going to keep the heal going you just, and then... Which is going to save Oberon energy. Like, Alright, everybody come back together. Somebody triggered Phoenix Roll. We got to redo this as a group now. So that is fantastic. Fantastic news. Fix unequipping Oberon not returning Kavat and Kubro health to its original value until you enter. I have not noticed that. <laughs> um, fix performance issues from Hollowed Ground. I didn't know there was some, but it's good to know. Everybody likes better performance. Fix some issues with trying to add or remove a renewal buff for multiple teammates over time rather than all at once. What? I'm not sure what, what they mean by that. Fix renewal not being applied to allies and bleed out as it did previously. Thank you. Because <laughs> this has to... I'll try to uh, activate it. Because... Uh, the, um. They don't have this for whatever reason. Well, well, after they go down. So, 
I try to give it to them. And like, oh, fuck. It, it doesn't help. It just never helped. So it's it's nice to see that that is now fixed. And we got index matchmaking. Some changes. What? Two weeks made last. Uh, oh, yes. The Psychron. The Psychron honestly was slash is a, kind of a horrible weapon. <laughs> but they changed it. So if your ammo capacity is um, one or above, it's going to take half as long. So instead of having to wait five seconds, you only have to wait two and a half seconds. <sighs> we have made some tweaks to, oh uh, yes, uh, some older augments have gotten tweaks. They've gone from rank threes to rank fives. Speed holster from 80% to 120%. And dead eye from 35% to 52.5%. EMP aura, which there was an alert yesterday for. I think it was yesterday, maybe it was the day before. It was recently, from 10% to 15%. And Sprint Boost from 10% to 15%. Um, Lua Spy Missions have been removed from the sortie. Due to performance reasons. Add our next line to Limbo's passive, saying that he gains energy while in the rift. Improved experience memory loss in the relays. Oh, that's horrible. Um, they changed cancel fusion to the word back. Reprioritize a few screens in the relay so it can load faster. Even when there is a throng of people. I don't know what the hell a throng of people is. I've never heard the word throng. <sighs> Adjust the rift weight for the Cycron Beam and Limbo Stasis to fix performance issues. And then we got fix the crash, fix the loss of functionality, fix clients unable to destroy nerves. Fix case with a void relic picker wouldn't appear for players after a mission vote was cancelled. Fixed ally NPCs, sentinels, etc. Not able to have abilities affected by nullifiers. Fixed retells being immune to Inaros. Fixed being invincible after casting Nyx. Nyx assim with assimilate and then going to the operator. Fixed walking around with pieces make. With pieces make? Mesa's peacemaker. <laughs> Fixed Arcanage's shield recharge. Fixed not being able to equip. Bonus extension on the Synchron. Fixed the Sarpa not firing. Fixed the Sarpa not firing in burst with the bullet dance stance equipped. If that's what I think it is, then that's going to be a fantastic uh, fix that was definitely needed for a while. And that's going to put the Sarpa back up there. Fix being able to fire the buzz lock with triggering to fire, and fix being able to spam disarm in quick succession as per. So the Sarpa, if that's what I think it is, then during one of the combos with the bullet dance, uh, it's supposed to, uh, you know, fire out multiple shots. But after one of the updates quite a while ago now, it changed so that it only fires one shot. So that significantly reduces the DPS. Oh boy, there's... Okay, we got another set here. Potential fixes for enemies falling through a Lua defense level and surviving. Fix index wager selection screen, allowing you to select a wager even if you didn't have enough credits. Fixed index wager screen skipping when being invited to play. Fixed purge timer in the war within. What's that? Purge mission being broken. Oh, uh, maybe it's just me. That wording just sounded weird. Fix gas status UI icons lingering forever. Fix relay room names being off screen when playing in higher resolutions. Fix clients being able to invite other players to an invite only squad hosted by another player. Fix the sword and shield in shield attachment position. What? I don't even know if I've even looked at that skin. Fixed operator sigils, having incorrect scale position rotation on navigation. Fixed the player's warframe holding a second copy of the operator in their hand during the set. Wait, what? I have no idea what this is on about. <laughs> Fixed the Lynx turret grenades not actually creating turrets. Fixed for real this time. Rattles appearing in the Hyena cinematic. Fixed void turrets not activating. Fixed casting Saren's Molt in the Simulcrum allowing you to kill yourself. Wait, what?
Fix Titania's bullet jump effects, lingering forever. Fix the pox and diorama, being aggressively zoomed in. Fix issues where things with a bleed out state would not disappear in the simulcrum when you return to your respawn platform. Fix issues with building up infinite psychron beam in the rift with stasis. Fix incorrect excavator spawn points in the corpus ice planet Talsap. Fix firing czar's barrage inside limbo's rift disabling stasis. Fixed script error with alt firing Parasis into the ground. You couldn't have waited like two more minutes. <laughs> Conclave fixes. Uh, they fixed Oberon's passive not functioning in Conclave. Okay. And yes, as I see from the first comment here, it is as I assume that the, this is the Ambulus uh, rework. Where you, you gotta have the corpus coming after you gotta th take on I think like five ambulance or something like that, and you got like the sh the ship in space like shooting down at you or oh boy that's gonna be fun. <laughs> but uh, there's your updates to Oberon, as well as the updates that came out today. Oberon is the main reason why I did this because so many controversies been going on with Oberon. Um, but with that, um, take care. I'll see you guys next time. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell right beside it to get that notification leave a like if you enjoyed let me know if you have any suggestions for any videos or if there's anything that you want to see in particular maybe it's a new series maybe it's just a video discussing something that you're confused about maybe it's something for the beginners to, to go into that series but with that take care have fun happy modding everybody and i hope you guys enjoy Oberon and understand its value like i do later